Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Southwell, and today I'd like to start a rather ambitious new project. This series of lectures is going to be called Experiments in Topology, and it's ambitious because on one hand I'd like to try and make it accessible to the layman who maybe doesn't know too much mathematics, maybe a high school student or something like that. On the other hand, we are going to be tackling with some problems which are right on the very boundaries of mathematical research. And we're even going to be encountering some open problems. So, first question then. What is topology? Well, topology has been defined as the study of properties of shapes which are preserved under continuous deformations. So what does that mean? Well, basically it means that in topology, and this is very basically, okay, because I'm really going to be concentrating a lot on two-dimensional topology, the topology of surfaces, and that's why this is going to be a nice visual, easy to follow course, which is actually going to involve a fair amount of model making. Anyway, what's topology? Well, in two dimensions, topology is the study of continuous, of objects which you can continuously deform, and we're interested in what kinds of properties are preserved under such continuous deformations. So the rules are that you're allowed to stretch and bend objects and change them around, but any couple of points, if you think of this surface as being filled with points, any couple of points which were close to each other before a deformation must be close to each other after a deformation. So if we snap this, it's more elastic than I, than I thought. Well, we've just broken one of our rules. And the final rule that we have to abide by when manipulating our surfaces is that we're not allowed to glue any distant points together. So that's it. Now, that's all we need to know. Let's do some experiments with the Mobius strip. Okay, so I suppose the first thing is, what is a Mobius strip? Well, I'll make a model of one for you. This is the standard way you do it. You get a strip of paper, you give it half a twist, and then you identify the ends of the paper. Maybe with a little bit of blue tack. And there we have it this Mobius strip. A very interesting surface in its own right. I highly recommend you make one for yourself. If you, for example, take a pen and start drawing on the Mobius strip, say here, and just keep drawing and keep drawing, you'll find that the pen ends up coming back to where it started from. Also, another fun exercise is to try cutting the Mobius strip down a line down the middle of this strip and see if you can guess what happens when you finish cutting. Anyway, we're not here to talk about such kind of trivial aspects of the Mobius strip. We want to investigate something new. Oh, by the way, just before I go on to it, um, this is just a model of the Mobius strip really. A nicer way to represent a Mobius strip is by was using one of these kind of two-dimensional diagrams which shows which parts of a surface are identified with what. The sort of technical way to think of it is something like this. It's a rectangle or a square so that the points along this side are identified with the points along this side but there's a twist. So point one up here gets stuck to point one down here. Point two down here gets stuck to point two here. Point three down here gets stuck to point three up here. And 
you're supposed to think of these kind of things happening for continuous of points. Anyway, so there's the question. How short can a Mobius strip be? And still be constructible in 3D space. Okay? Well, we might be get a little bit cheeky later and allow intersections. So we might allow surfaces to pass through each other. Um, I'll talk more about that later. But hopefully you should see that this is a really quite interesting problem. For example, we start here with this thing. It's 12 inches long. It's 1 inch wide. Can we make a shorter Mobius strip out of this? Yes, we can. How about if we just cut a quarter of it off? Well, okay, we still have a Mobius strip. That's all right. It's looking a little bit, a little bit smaller, a little bit more bended, but it's okay. Now, we can kind of flatten this out a little bit, just to give us something a little bit more familiar. If we just squash it out, you can see now that it has this kind of triangular form. Okay, so, like I said, this was going to be cutting edge mathematics, so now I'm going to jump straight into discussing a problem which took some fairly decent mathematicians um, several years to solve. The question is, what is the shortest Mobius strip? Now this isn't normally the kind of problem which topologists think about, because it kind of has elements of Euclidean geometry in the fact that a Mobius strip is a space, is an object in 3D space, but it also has elements of topology. And the winner of this competition will get this 3D printed Klein bottle with this metallic finish designed by Bath Sheba, the famous 3D printing mathematician. So, good luck.